To understand how COVID-19 vaccines work, it helps to first look at how our bodies fight illness. When germs such as COVID-19 invade our bodies, they attack and multiply. This invasion is called an infection. It's what causes illness. Our immune system uses several tools to fight infection. After the infection, the immune system remembers that goes to action quickly with the same virus encountered again. Blood contain red cells, which carry oxygen to tissues and organs, and white blood cells, which fight infection, or also called immune cells. Different types of white blood cells fight infection in different ways. The body keeps a few T lymphocytes called memory cells that go into action quickly if the body encounters the same virus or a pathogen or germ again. When the familiar antigen are detected, B lymphocytes produce antibodies to attack them. Experts are still learning, or researchers, how long those memory cells protect a person against the virus. So those cells include macrophages, B lymphocytes, and T lymphocytes. Macrophages are white blood cells that swallow up and digest germs, also dead or dying cells. The macrophages leave behind parts of the invading germs called antigens. The body identifying identifies antigens as dangerous and stimulates antibodies to attack them. P lymphocytes are white blood cells. They produce antibodies that attack the pieces for the virus left behind by the macrophages. T lymphocytes are another type of defensive white blood cells. They attack cells on the body that have already been infected. The first time a person is infected with the virus, it takes several days or weeks for their body to make and use all the germ-fighting tools needed to get over the infection. After the infection, the person's immune system remembers what learned about how to protect the body against that disease. This is how our immune system works. So how COVID-19 vaccines work? COVID-19 vaccines help the body to develop immunity to the virus without having to get the illness. Different types of vaccines work in different ways to offer protection. But with all types of vaccines after the vaccination, the body is left with a supply of memory T lymphocytes as well as B lymphocytes that to remember how to fight the virus in the future. It typically take about a um, few weeks after the vaccination for the body to produce T lymphocytes and P lymphocytes. Therefore, it's possible that the person could be infected with COVID-19 just before or after vaccination and then get sick because the vaccine did not have enough time to reduce infection, not because the vaccine is useless, as some people may say. So the type of vaccines available now, currently there are many types of COVID-19 vaccines that are authorized and recommended or undergoing a large scale or this three clinical trials in United States and other countries. Below our description or how each type of vaccine promotes our body to recognize and protect us from the virus that causes COVID-19. And remember that none of those will give you the disease, how they are protecting you from disease. Some people may, as I mentioned, before some people thinking that the vaccine itself make the person or causes the infection with COVID-19. However, they may have getting the infection from anywhere just be before the vaccine do this work. So we have mRNA vaccines, protein subunit vaccines and vector vaccine. The styles are how those vaccines were generated. So mRNA vaccines contain materials from the virus that gives our cells instructions for how to make a harmless protein that's unique to the virus that our immune system is able to recognize it. After our cells make uh, copies of this protein, they destroy the genetic material from the vaccine. Our bodies recognize that the protein should not be there and build T lymphocytes and P lymphocytes that will remember how to fight it in the future. So as I mentioned above in how our immune system works, 
The point of vaccines is that to teach our immune system to fight infection when encountered because we have a very important character of our immune system is memory. So the other type is protein subunit. Um, those include harmful species, which are protein mainly, instead of the entire virus. Once vaccinated, our bodies recognize that the protein should not be there and build immunity against it. So the mechanism is the same, however, the manufacture of vaccines is different. Um, there's, uh, let's speak about the last type, which is vector, or also can be called a component vaccines. Those contain modified version or a different virus than the one that causes COVID-19. Inside the shell of the modified virus, there is a material from the virus that causes COVID-19. So, it is called a vector, a shell of other virus such as adenovirus and an important antigenic that from COVID-19 that our immune system is recognizable by it. So those genetic materials gives our cells instruction to make proteins unique to the virus and the same process is going again. Our body will identify those proteins or antigens are foreign and make immunity. Uh, it's important to mention that the process of building immunity can cause some symptoms such as fever, tiredness and so on. Those symptoms are signs that our body is building immunity. So uh, some COVID-19 vaccines require more than one shot, sometimes just one shot. So to be fully vaccinated, sometimes you need more than one shot. If you get a COVID-19 vaccine that requires two shots, you are considered fully vaccinated two weeks after your second shot, not from your first shot. This is important. Some vaccines such as Pfizer and Moderna uh, do require two shots. Johnson & Johnson require only one shot. So it's depending on the type of vaccine. So if uh, it has been less than two weeks since your shot, or if you are still needs to get your second shot, or you are not fully protected, you have to keep taking all the prevention steps until you are fully vaccinated. As I mentioned, two weeks after the final or the second shot. Getting vaccinated is one of the many steps you can take to protect yourself and your family and others from COVID-19. Protection from COVID-19 is critically important because for some people, COVID-19 can be very severe and may cause a severe illness or even death. Stopping a pandemic requires all the tools available. Vaccines work with your immune system so your body will be able to fight the virus if you are exposed to it. After you get vaccinated, you may be able to start doing your normal life and things that you stop be doing after the pandemic. Um, however, the researchers are still learning how current vaccines will affect the spread of COVID-19. So you should still keep taking precautions in public places because you don't know that uh, who's vaccinated and who's not. And there's some people who are not vaccinated. So you have to be careful and take the vaccine.